What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys clear body Metagross for ranked Regulation H. Now, within Regulation H, you don't see Metagross that much, but don't let that fool you. Metagross is still strong. It is still top tier. I absolutely love this Pokemon. For the most part, this Metagross build is pretty standard. It's got clear body with the Assault Vest, rocking the Flying Terror type with Heavy Slam, Psychic Bang, Stomping Tantrum, and Bullet Punch. It can do some big time stab damage with Heavy Slam, Psychic Bangs, and bullet punch it's got first turn priority with that bullet punch move and most importantly it can take out screens with psychic bangs which is such a huge competitive advantage especially when you're going up against like teams with nine tails or even like grim snarl just a lot of pokemon that like to set up screens now speaking of screens we got nine tails on our team with aurora veil it's got snow warning never melt ice blizzard freeze dry aurora veil and protect so it can do some big time damage and on top of that set up them screens which are absolutely amazing our final four pokemon on today's team features heavy hitters and meta pokemon it's guard chop sneezler magmar and king gambit now magmar is going to be a support pokemon on our team with fire spin and follow me king gambit a big time physical attacker with sword dance guard chops holding the life orb and then sneezler over here got coaching and fake out so we can coach up our other physical attackers making them super strong and super bulky on the physical side guys want to see for yourself rental code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel but without further ado let's hop into match number one showcasing this metagross team so guys by the time this video is released it is actually thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving to everybody who celebrates and if you don't celebrate the holidays hopefully you're having a great day today we're hopping into our first match going up against a titar and sylveon team alongside with galarian slow king really dope pokemon where's that slow bro I'm not sure if there's a Galarian Slowking. I think it's Galarian Slowbro. And then there's Indeedee Titar and Hisuian Decidueye and Milotic. Pretty cool team. I think it's a dope team right here. Um, Who should I lead? I could go into like Sneasler and Metagross and just start like coaching boost up here. That's not a bad call. I actually really like that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. And then in the back end, we need some weather control with Ninetales considering they have Titar. And then last but not least, we could just go into King Gambit. It's between King Gambit or Garchomp. Kind of looking at the team, King Gambit's probably the call here. Like, they got Sylveon, they got two Psychic types. We gotta go King Gambo. Wish we had a Steel move on our King Gambit, but the Dark type moves will, will handle a lot of this, right? It will definitely handle a lot, of, a lot of this. But low battery, give me one second, guys. If you guys know, I always keep my charger plugged in. I always keep it on me at all times for instances like this. Now I just get the plug in my controller. Everything's good. We're charging and we're right back into the action. We're right back into the action. No low battery over here. Anytime it happens, it's always plugged in into my switch. It's hanging off the side of my PC. I just got to reach down and grab it. And then we're, we're set. But yo, that trainer card might be the best trainer card. You had a mudkip outside late at night waiting for hot dogs. Dude was probably getting done a long night of drinking. And he was just like, I just want a hot dog right now. Can you get me a hot dog? My guy, mudkip. That is one of the coolest trainer cards I've ever seen. Huge shout out to this guy. Huge shout out. But they're going to end up going into Milo Tick alongside with Indeedee. Now, I can't fake out. They could go for Follow Me. That is a potential thing. There's no need for me to go into a Flying Terror type, but I could just go for a Psychic Fangs into you and do some nice damage. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to try to coach up. Let's do it. Let's go for a little coaching action. Protect comes out from Milo Tick. Okay. So I'm just going to protect this shot. And you could try to take out my Sneasler with a Psychic, but I am Focus Ash, and that will just pop Unburden. And we get the coach up from Metagross, which is great news. Or you could be Papa Trick Room. I feel like you got a few options here. You could definitely be Papa Trick Room. You could definitely be Papa Trick Room, which is kind of scaring me at this point. Yeah, you do. So Trick Room flies out here. No, not a big deal, right? It's not a big deal. We're going to have to get rid of Indeedee. And this, ooh, Marvel Scale. Okay, this boosts defense. This will boost defense on this bad boy. So I could coach up again. I could go into a Psychic Fangs. Um, I'm thinking I kind of just want to attack this Indeedee at this point, right? Because Follow Me could easily come out here. Follow Me could easily come out here. Like Marvel scale on this bad boy. Skull's going to launch here. Do some solid damage. And Dazzling Gleam's going to launch. And is that going to KO my Sneasler? It does not. That's a beautiful sight to see. Stopping Tantrum launches. Doing some solid damage. And Kadir Claw. Get rid of you, Indeedee. That'd be nice. Does not. Any status condition? Anything? Nothing? Nothing. Nothing for us. Okay, so Trick Room's just chilling here for a little bit. Uh, Protect probably going to be our call. And I think Psychic Fang's going to KO, so I'm going to try to Psychic Fang's and see how much damage I can do up against that. And if I can, I'd rather just go for another coaching. 
to be honest with you guys. I probably should have done that last turn. It just boosts this bad boy up. Now that's going to come a skull, and I have a feeling you're going to get a burn here. I have an odd feeling about it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. I'm going to do negative six damage to you. Actually, that's still decent damage. That's still respectable damage. But come on, man. Really burning me? Ah, the burns. Really don't need that right now. Really don't need that right now. So, when it comes to Metagross, I can't use my Bullet Punch, which kind of sucks right now. We are wasting out some Trick and Trench, which is solid. Um, I could just go into Free Strike and get some work done. I don't think it moves that they can use. I think we go into you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I can suck your fangs KO and DD all day. Like, I'm not worried about Ndidi. I am not worried about Ndidi right now. I'm more worried about, obviously, the Smile Tick. So I'm going to do that. Um, Heavy Slam would just KO, too. So I'm going to go for Heavy Slam into the slot. And we're going to try to pull off. Actually, let's go for a War Bell here. Let's try to set this up. Let's try to get a War Bell going. Because there is a chance they Terrasse Slides. We're going to go for Follow Me. That's fine. That's a fine turn. That's a fine turn. I could have went for a freeze drive, but I really like this award belt. Okay, this turn is really good for us. Really good for us. Really good for us. Even if you're recovering, that's fine. Because Heavy Slam's going to pick up the KO. We will take some Rocky Helmet damage. Who cares? Blah, blah, blah. And from here, now I can set up this beautiful bail. Awesome. Award belt out and about. So we get the award belt out. We still have to deal with Myotic, which is a slight issue. I mean, that burn really just... Mm. Really just hurt me, man. Let's see how many turns are left in Trick Room. I think it's two. I think it's two. I could protect and waste out a little bit here. Uh, we'll see who they go into, though. Etar comes out here. I gotta see Terrain, too, because I would love to just throw a Bullet Punch across the board. But Trick Room's one. Psyche Terrain's one. That's actually pretty massive. I don't even have Protect, but if I can pull off a Stop and Catch him, I would like to. Or even Heavy Slam. I think Stomping Tantrum is going to do more damage, so I'm going to go Stomping Tantrum. And I'm just going to protect you. Protect my beautiful Ninetales. Alright. Okay. Not bad so far. We still have Terra. we got to remember that. They still got Terra as well. And we're going to waste out this last turn. Rock Slide's going to fly here. Can you soak this, Metagross? Metagross, you might be able to soak this. You're plus one on defense. And you're in Veil. Oh my god. Oh my lord, that did absolutely nothing. The life orb damage is more to him. And he scalds into... Okay, so I get off a turn with my Metagross, which is just gorgeous. That is just beautiful. Zombie Tantrum launches. We're burned. Still doing great damage. Buffets are going to fly. So, dude, that's not a bad turn. That's not a bad turn. The thing is, Metagross, can you survive a Buffet and a burn shot? That's where we're sitting with a real issue here. I think you can. That'd be beautiful. That'd be beautiful. Oh, you don't take puppets. I totally forgot your steel type. Love you. Love you. All right. So now we got to kind of get after this Milotic. Now, the thing is, I know Metagross outspeeds Milotic without Trick Room, but does it outspeed Titar? Not too sure. Could even protect here. We're just going to play it safe. We're going to go Bull Punch here. I'm going to go Free Strike in this slot. You could protect the Milotic as well here. And now comes the Terror type. Terror type coming out here. Is it going to be T-Tar? I hope it's T-Tar. Yeah, it is going to be T-Tar. T-Tar's going to rip into the flying type. So, balloons out and about. Um, He's going to drop a rock slide. And he's going to double down into my... Into my what's it called? Which is kind of scary. Into my nine tails. Free shot launches. How much damage are we doing here? Solid damage. Solid damage. He's going to go for that skull. The skull's fine. I need you for one more turn here. Nine tails. Rock side's gonna launch. Soak this up, Nine tails. You do not. So, oh man, just, just does me dirty. Just a big time KO. See, I really wish we didn't get burned with our, we didn't get burned with our, uh, with our Metagross. I think this game is totally different, to be honest with you guys. Because at that point, I'm not attacking the T-Tar. I'm just targeting down this Milotic with like Psychic Fangs, and I'm just doing monstrous amounts of damage to it. And I honestly think we would have won, but um, we still have King Gamba, which. You can't get can get after it. Probably have low kick, which is scaring me a little bit. Um, I got the black glasses. I still have flying terror. Do I want to use flying terror or not? Not yet. I'm going to sucker punch you. I think sucker punch will KO you. 
Um, Milo could recover here, which is just terrible news. We're just gonna go and Sucker Punch in this slot. You could recover. Sucker Punch get a KO. So I'll get rid of you. Hopefully no recover. Chances are it isn't recover. And I think the only way I'm gonna get rid of Milotic is gonna be like a uh, Sword Sands boost to Kowtow Cleave. Scald's gonna launch. Do not burn me. Do not. Do not. Oh my god, I hate this game. I hate this game. Can't even give me a chance. Can't even give me a chance. Now I'm sitting here burned out my mind, both by top tier physical attackers, and I can't do any damage. I can't do any damage. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. Let's see who your final Pokemon is. Let's see if it actually mattered. But still, the burn's just annoying. It really is. The final Pokemon is Decidueye, which I would just Terrasilize here. Launch Kaltau Cleave, but I wouldn't really do that much damage. Um... Let's see if we can let's see if we can make something happen with this flying tire. Let's see if we can make something happen. We went for sucker punch instead. Honestly, I feel like uh, you probably outspeed this Milotic, but I went for sucker punch just in case. But hopefully no recover flies out here. Oh my lord, I hate this game. I really do. And yep, you're going for recover. Just like perfect timing. Perfect timing. Recover flies out here. That's game set match. Because I was hoping I could just sucker punch that. And then, let's see how much damage this thing would have done with Veil. We could just set up a Sword Stance. Right, let's, set up a, let's set up a Sword Stance. Let's see, let's, let's, see, let's see what we can get going. And if I would have set up a Sword Stance that turn, that would have been nice. Let's see. Let's see, let's see what we can get going from here. Maybe you go for another Recover. I, I don't know. A roar barrel's gone. That's that pretty much just wipes me out, right? But we're, we'll still go for a sword dance. But man, double burns. I think we would have won this match, no problem. There here comes the ice beam. Thanks for playing. And yeah, you outspeed me regardless. So the sucker punch was the right call there. It really was. Because I could have Kowtow Cleave in that slot, but that thing was recovering before we even moved. So we weren't going to be able to KO it. GG's our opponent. We're sitting 0 1. So, guys, off to a little bit of a rough start. We're sitting 0-1, but we're looking to bounce back here in match number two. Going up against regular Decidueye now, alongside with Talonflame, Dragonite, Tinkaton, Blaziken, and Sidisha. Now, to be honest, my Ice-type Ninetales is super effective into three Pokemon. You got the Decidueye, you got the Dragonite, and on top of that, you got the Sinisha. On the other hand, Blaziken is scaring me, so I might want to go into a Pokemon like Garchomp here. Try to get rolling with that. I mean, we do have Magmar, which is... Pretty solid. It does have vital spirit, so it can't be put to sleep. But I don't think anybody has a sleep move here, which is good news for us. Um, hmm. Hmm. Sneasler solid lead. Can't go wrong with Sneasler, especially with faking out. So I'm gonna go Sneasler, and I might just go Garchomp and maybe like coach up. That could be a good call. Um. Bum, bum, bum. I'm trying to think of like what else we could do here. They could go for Tailwind, which could be annoying, but I don't mind going into. Garchomp, right? Let me see your moves, Garchomp. Yeah, I mean, you got Dragon Ball. Let's do it. Let's go Garchomp. We'll bring Nine Tails late game. And last but not least, we gotta go with Metagross. I feel like having Bullet Punch could be good. Or do I go King Gambit instead? It's, the, it's one of these two. I'm gonna go with Metagross here. Metagross. Especially if we still have Terra and we're dealing with Blaziken. I mean, I can just throw Psychic Fangs. But I feel, I feel like they gotta lead Blaziken. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they just might go into Talonflame. It's either Talonflame or Blaziken, I feel like. Or it could be Tinkaton with Fake Out, but at that point, I would just Fake It Out with my Sneasler. And we should be able to just, like, get it for this match pretty fine. Let's see. I feel like they have to lead either Talonflame or Blaziken. One of their fire types, right? It's got to be one of their fire types. Let's see what you got. It's going to be Talon. It's going to be both. It's going to be both. Both of them coming out here. The both of them fly out here. Um, hmm. Go try to rip a Stomping Tantrum in this Blaziken. I could. I could also coach up because there's two physical attackers. I could fake out here as well. And I have a feeling they're gonna think that I'm faking out. So I'm just gonna go for a coach in here. Honestly, let's just let's just launch a dragon call. I feel like they protect Blaziken here. I really do. We're just gonna launch a dragon call into town flame. I feel like protect speed boost has got to be has got to be the play here. Yep, there it is. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So that's a good call for our our end. He gets off a tailwind, but at the same time. We get off this nice, lovely defense boost and attack boost, and we get the Dragon Claw up onto this Town Flame. So I have a feeling this Town Flame should probably cover Cloak more so than anything. And this place can probably clear Amulet. Or even Focus Ash, but we just Dragon Claw and just dump on it. <laughs> See you later. Get it on out of here. So we dump on you. Life Orb with Coaching Boost is just ridiculous. Um, 
speed boost gonna pop out from Bladeskin? The speed boost don't even matter, right? Like you set up Tailwind, it's like okay, like you got speed regardless. Tinkatown's gonna come out here. Um, probably just want to protect Garchomp at this point because if they're gonna fake out anybody, it is going to be Garchomp. And if I can get off some damage, especially like a Dire Claw, I'm gonna want to. So I'm gonna do that. I could go into like a Steel type here, but I don't really want to. We're just gonna protect the Chomp. See how this one plays out here. So Chomp gets to protect. Hopefully, fingers crossed, protect or fake out goes into Garchomp slot. And no, Blaziken's looking just close to combat. No fake out. All right, I feel you. Are you doubling down? You are doubling down. That's a monstrous protect. That's a huge protect. Come on, Garchomp. Big time protection from Garchomp. Wasting out Tailwind turns on top of that. Dire Claw launches, does great damage. And it puts the Blaziken to sleep. RNG back on Gene's side. First match, it was not going well. Now it's looking pretty good. Now it's looking real well. Now it's looking beautifully well. And then from here, now we can just go for another Dire Claw, finish you off, go into a Steel Terror type, say Stomping Tantrum, bye-bye, thanks for playing, they canceled the match, let's go, let's go. Bounce back match, we're sitting 1-1. One one. Third and final match time, your boy's sitting 1-1, one one. what a bounce back victory for us. We're going up against a nice little Clefable team, now Clefable, I really like Clefable, it's a nice little sport, it can actually hit pretty hard on the special attack inside. They also have Fire Tauros, they got Salazzle, Haxorus, which doesn't get as much love as it deserves and then they got golden go and Willow Boom. now definitely want to use metagross here i like metagross um i know they got two fire types but this thing can deal with the fable pretty well you definitely deal with the fable it does have stomping tantrum so if we get to rastalize and like hit these fire type pokemon that'd be nice so you know we are gonna go into metagross here early on alongside with sneezer sneezer's just such good lead it really is nine tails actually looking pretty good here besides the fire types um garchomp i want garchomp for sure and last but not least we could just go into magmar or king gambo I'm gonna go King Gambo here. Let's just bring out all of our big attackers. Sneasler, Metagross, Garchomp, and King Gambit. We're looking to just be an offensive powerhouse here in match number three. I like to grab ourselves a winning record. So match number one, Burns, RNG weren't on our side. Match number two, RNG kind of bounced back. We got that big time sleep on the Blaziken. And then from there, we were just like, all right, it's over. We were just gonna die a call, go into stop with Tantrum. It was just gonna be game set match, no problem. But they end up canceling match, which was even better for us. They end up going into double fire type. Now, at this point, it's just should be an easy terror type for me. Um, Intimidate's gonna come out here, and I just think coaching is probably our play. But I'm gonna coach up, and who do I attack here? Probably Taurus. I mean, Taurus looking really annoying. So I terror type my Metagross. I'm also gonna coaching boost it. I think Salazzle does learn fake out, which honestly could be scary. It does, doesn't it? I should have faked it out. I should have faked out Salazzle. I should have just faked out Salazzle. Let's see what they do here. Let's see what they do. I should have faked out Salazzle. I think he's gonna fake me out. Is that a correct statement? Yep. He's just gonna fake out Sneasler. That's no big deal. At least I'm still gonna be able to get off a stopping catch him here, which is good news. Raging Bull is gonna launch in this slot. That's fine. Metagross soaks rather well. And stopping catch launches. So stopping catch him. Great damage. Not bad. And I think we might switch it over into the Salazzle slot now with a coaching boost. Because they might even protect or even Thrasilize the bull now, seeing that we target it down. So, trying to switch up our plays, not trying to keep it so consistent. And no, they're just going to stay in here with the Tauros, which is fine by me. I'm be able to coach up and get that defense boost, which is huge up against this Tauros. And he's got Mirror Herb. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Mirror Herb popping out here. Mirror Herb on the boy. Overheat's going to launch. Sneasler is surviving on one. We don't get to use Focus Ash, but we survive on one. Which is great news. And this thing is going to be Eject Pack. Oh, dude, we're stopping catching me to that slot. That's brutal. That's brutal. That is brutal. Let's see who you go into. Who's going to take this? It's going to be Haxor. So Haxor's going to have to take this plus one boosted stomping tantrum. Not bad. And he's going to burn me. Oh, my lord. The burns today are just unbearable they're just unbearable they really are just my medical is getting burned left and right today <laughs> it really is stop with tangent launches does mediocre damage burns can chip me up um from here i mean we got sh we just gotta go for stop with tangent. or even just a psychic fangs would probably do a bit more damage in that slot and i gotta go for dire claw right let's try to get a status condition on the Paxorus. Yeah, first impression. Okay. First impression comes out there, picks up the KO. Let's see what the bull is doing here. He's just probably gonna chip up some damage here. Stone Edge. Please don't land. 
It's landing. Oh my lord. We soak. And Psychic Fangus lands as well. Cool. All right. So I know Bull Punch isn't going to KO the Tauros, but I think we have to use Bull Punch. I really do. I could just go into like you and just start sending EQs. That's not a bad call, especially because we should outspeed this Tauros. We should. I do not want to get burned by it. We should outspeed Tauros. So yeah, I'm going to go into you. I'm going to go straight into Garchomp. I can send EQs for free. So I'm going to EQ here, and before I die out, I'm just going to send a Bull Punch. Do as much damage as I can. So EQ, Bull Punch, definitely apply here. We should outspeed the Tauros because if we get burned here, it's pretty much a game set match. It would pretty much be game set match. It ends up withdrawing Haxtrus. Now, who are you going into here? Because we're, we're ripping this EQ. Golden Go. Pristine. Pristine. We'll take this free free EQ damage here. Full punch launch is going to do like negative six, but the EQ is where the important part lays here. EQ launches. Not affecting Metagross. Metagross is going to actually be able to get off another turn. And is this double KOing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guard Chop. Always got my back. Garchomp's always got my back. What a dog. What an absolute dog. Big time EQ picking up the double KO. And now we're sitting here with a, uh, a fake out user and a first impression user. So, I mean, probably protecting Garchomp is our play. I wish I could protect uh, Metagross, but I'd rather have Pokemon just die out. So, I'm going to protect Garchomp because chances are fake out's going to launch in that slot. Um, we'll have King Gambo, which is pretty good. But the fire move's not looking so good for us. The fire move's not looking so good. So he's going to fake out, and then he's going to terrestrialize the Salazzle. Like, we already know that's happening. So, I mean, I'm going to go for Bullet Punch. Just Let's just chip up some damage into you if we can. And just protect the Garchomp. Play it slow, play it simple. Turn us into a 2v2 situation. But yeah, Salazzle with Overheat? Oh, no. Salazzle with Overheat. I don't know how to feel about that. But if we would have hit Salazzle with a ground move, it would have just been dead. It's four times a week. It is... Fire and poison. They still have terror again, scaring me. Um, and now comes terror. So good thing they're using it this turn rather than the next turn, because I thought they would just like fake out this turn and not use terror. And they're gonna go into Haxor. So ground move again, KO Salazzle. He's gonna go stellar terror here. Not too shabby. Um, and protect flies out here from Garchomp. I think Garchomp's faster than Haxor, which would be beautiful for us. And first impression launches into into you. No fake out launches, which is good news. I mean, we're going to just pull a punch chip again. The more chip, the better. And he's going to... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We do not want that. Um. And now from here, I mean, let's just pull a punch chip. We got to hope that... Garchomp outspeeds, because if Garchomp outspeeds, Stomping Tantrum, like I, like I said, we'll KO. Actually, we can go for EQ, because Metagross is still on the field. And I'm hoping if Garchomp can outspeed, we can just win this game. Bull Punch can launch here, and chip up a little bit more damage. Garchomp, go. So Lazlo outspeeds, Garchomp, you need to outspeed the Haxorus. Garchomp dodges the Overheat, and we're fine. We, we won this one regardless, even if that Overheat lands. Because Garchomp's soaking that all day. EQ comes out here, double KO. Garchomp clutching up, being the MVP here in match number three. We grab ourselves a 2 1 winning record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2 1 winning record with this Metagross squad. This team was phenomenal. You got Nine Tails for weather control. You got Sneasler, who is just phenomenal, especially with Poison Touch and Dire Claw and coaching with all these physical attackers. And then Garchomp, Metagross King Gambit doing all the heavy lifting with big time physical attacking damage. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.